So you can see how things are kind of lumpy, and in some cases it looks like things are kind of kind of wormy in shape. Yeah. So these are uh, pillow basalts all stacked together, and these are uh, little lava flows that just kind of wiggle their way down slope. Yeah. And uh, interweave together as they float slowly downhill. Yeah, these look a lot different from from before. That is so cool. Uh, we'd also have a really hard time sampling. And these are probably the source of a lot of the debris that we were seeing further down slope at our landing site uh, near in place. And some of the, the uh, very high angularity on the rock gave that away too. So it, it likely didn't travel very far downhill. Yeah. Probably came from somewhere in, in this vicinity. Little, little lava flows that just kind of wiggle their way down slope. Yeah. And, uh, uh, they, they just kind of form these, these very small little tubes and they, they uh, freeze at their toe, mm -hmm. but there's still a lot of lava moving through that tube as it goes downhill. Yeah. And eventually that hydrostatic pressure builds up inside uh, that crusted over pillow toe and it'll, it'll crack, split open, mm -hmm. and you'll get a little bit more of that flows out before it freezes against the really cold seawater again. Oh, and you just kind of rinse repeat and it does that all the way downhill and it kind of forms these, these uh, um, sort of rounded, uh, bulbous features that stack on top of each other like this. So yeah. we call them pillows. I, I wouldn't use them for resting. They're not actually that comfortable. Go ahead, um, Rich. And they also contain, didn't you say, heavy metals as well the other day? Uh, the crusts do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> heavy metal crust pillows. Mm. Inside is okay, uh, so they're done with their a, testing. A core of basalt. But we're yeah. gonna we're gonna start kind of swinging underneath the ship, so we should get moving. <laughs> 